Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 19 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa Ultra Despair Goals. Here we go. Um, hey, why'd you guys run here? Did you think you could escape if you went somewhere real high up? But no matter where you run, it's pointless. The more you run from me, the closer you get. Cause the world is round, right? I knew it. You were waiting for us. So, how did it feel to have someone waiting for you? Were you even more grossed out? Or, or maybe, do you hate me even more now? Oh, like I said, I already hate you enough. No, that's a lie. When adults look at things they truly hate, their eyes are not weak like that. I know it. I've seen those eyes since the day I was born. Don't tell me. The reason you hide your face is because of some trauma or something. Well, not that it matters. I'm just curious about how horrible your face looks. N no, you can't see anything but that. If you see my face, your eyeballs are gonna rot off! There you go, making no sense again. No! You're wrong! It's the truth! They're really gonna burn right off! If they don't, then... Then why did she force me to wear this mask? Why was I forced to wear this stuffy mask every single day? I'm just that horrible. I'm just so ugly and hated more than anyone else on Earth. I bet my head just got really twisted because the doctor pulled too hard when I was born. And then my skin pores got all crushed and my hair got ripped and my face got pulled. And my ears are just barely sticking to my face like meatloaf thrown up onto a wall. And my lips are inside out and my gums are dry and rotten and brown. And my nose is just a shriveled little lump of meat. It must be horrible. That's why she was ashamed to show me to people. You don't look like other kids. That must be what she was talking about. If you see such an awful face, your eyeballs are gonna get crushed and you'll faint. So that's why I'm not wrong. I'm totally, totally right. Jeez, I just mentioned the subject and you totally went off the handle there. Meaning, you basically just want revenge against the adults who made you suffer, right? Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. You're just mistaken. It's not something cheap and silly like that. We just want to change the world. That's all. We don't really have to understand. Demons aren't needed in our world anyway. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine! We're gonna make a kid's only paradise! Huh? Why are you all booing? Unforgivable. No matter what kind of reason you have. Whether you're an adult or a child... You killed people. So many people. Like it was nothing. And I'll 
will never forgive that! Ever! That's it! Those are the eyes I was talking about! The eyes that just scream hatred! <laughs> Big sis! <laughs> Looks like you're finally disgusted by me for real! <laughs> But I don't know about what you said, comparing likes and dislikes and good and evil. I mean, we're trying to bring peace to the world, you know? That's why there's nothing wrong with us. No matter how much you hate us, we aren't wrong! What are you... You kill people and laugh about it! And say that you aren't the ones in the wrong? Unforgivable! Huh? Why? Why are you all cheering for the enemy? Oh, I guess it's that I'm even hated by the kids, too. Ah! <laughs> See? They hate me. They really hate me. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> if I'm hated this much, then there's no point in faking friendships and trying to be liked. I'm free to do anything I want. Before your bodies become pretty objects, let me tell you one more time. No matter how much we're hated, no matter how much we're shunned, we're definitely not wrong. That's the real truth. Because Big Sis Junko said so. Big Sis Junko? Big Sis Junko, the only one who loved me, the only one different than other people. Big Sis Junko, the one who gave us our sparkly hope. Those adults who took her away from us and said that she was the bad one. They're the filthy ones. They're the ugly ones. The disgusting ones! <laughs> Alright, time for another robot. So, I'm gonna try and charge up. Hang on a sec. Hey, yeah. So use your super move. Then use the second one. Charge it again. And this should be it. Yeah, I think I've won. Oh, not quite yet. What about now? Pow, pow, pow. I did it. Yay. <laughs> that was easy.
fighting again. What in the world is this? Okay, so I just really quickly want to point out, it's kind of interesting that, like, so right at the end they, they take off his mask and he's like, you know, a very cute looking child. Um, but it's funny because he actually looks a little bit androgynous, like it's hard to tell if he's a girl or a boy, and I wonder if that's like a sort of an allusion to Chihiro and what we just had with um, Chihiro's father. So yeah, kind of interesting there. Alright, they're fighting again, what in the world is this? Serves him right. What did you say? Let's go, Toko. All right, she's starting to get a lot more, uh, you know. Oh yeah, that one's crossed off because that was uh, Masaros and there's um, Jataros. She's like grown accustomed to what's happening. foundation is I know I know I should hurry up with it right uh, no I didn't mean that Anything. I'm setting it up for you. Just wait a minute, will you? Oh, sorry. All right, here you go. Hello? Can you hear me? Someone please respond! Can you hear me? Looks like it didn't work. Well, that's just too bad. We should uh, probably give up for now. Hello? Oh, this is Foundation. This is Future Foundation. Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Loud and clear. This is Future Foundation. Branch number... Branch number 14. Makoto Nayaki. M Makoto? Huh? Kamaru? <laughs> I love that ending. That ending is so good to chapter 2. Alright, got the A rank, yes. <laughs> Amazing. Far beyond even my expectations. All right, I've decided. I will restore the glorious Togami family with you. But first, tell me, what is the size of your ring finger? A ring would look good on you. <laughs> All right, and for getting the A rank, we get this skill, Star Body, which I think gives us health uh, and 500 mana coins. All right, and that's it. Chapter two: Legend of the Revolution end. We should get a trophy and the opportunity to save and then we'll start a little bit of chapter three here. This cutscene goes for a while. The mask was a thing on its own. Is that a reference to the movie The Mask? I feel like it is. I haven't seen that in a while so I feel like it should be The Mask was a thing of its own but yeah. Anyway let's uh, have a look at chapter three for a few minutes here. Chapter three. Cute Girls Battlefield. Mm. 
Kodo! Kamaru, is that really you? I knew it. You're... You're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? Mister? You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were all right. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive. I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. And you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then... You don't know either? But... but... It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But... You have no proof of that! They could be... There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. If you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! Worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? No! You very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is... safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was pr probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh, the son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh yeah, Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait. You... you didn't know that, either? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were forced to kill each other, our classmates. Can't 
Ow. A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other, right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged. But by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under Future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought and confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Hm. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along, so eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but... You seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen. About that, there's something I need to apologize for. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. We'll continue from this point next time. So we've met, um, oh, you know, Kamaro and is getting a chance to talk to Makoto. And this scene goes for a while, so it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, but I really like this scene. Um, okay, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 19 of Lost Planet and Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.